Okay, so this is our uh, example number one for a spiral curve. A simple curve having a radius of 285 meters connects two tangents intersecting at an angle of 45 degrees. It is to be replaced by another curve having 75 meter spirals at its ends, such that the point of tangency shall be the same. Letter A, determine the radius of the new circular curve. Letter B, determine the distance that the curve will, okay, will be nearer the vertex. Letter C, determine the central angle of the circular curve. Letter D, determine the deflection angle at the end point of the spiral. Letter E, determine the offset from the tangent at the end of the point of the spiral. And letter F, determine the distance along the tangent at the midpoint of the spiral. Okay, so, ang daming pinapahanap. Okay. Ayan. So, ito yung figure natin. Okay. So, simple curve siya nung una. Okay. Then, meron siyang radius ng 285. Then, meron siyang central angle na 45 degrees. Then, ang gagawin, ang gagawin ay re-replace to ng spiral curve sa ends niya. Okay. So, ngayon, sa spiral curve. Okay. So, ito siya. Okay. Nagkaroon tayo na panibagong tangent dito. Ayan. Okay, so sorry, sorry. Medyo hindi siya tama yung drawing. Patatata. Ayan. Ayan. Ayan siya. So, ito yung original curve natin. Sa simple curve. Then, magiging ganito na siya. Okay? Ayan. So, ito yung spiral natin. Sa dalawang ends. So, ito ngayon yan. Ang sukat daw nito. Ilan daw yan? Uh -huh. so, okay, this is 75 pala. So, yung spiral na to is 75 meters. And ito rin yan is 75 meters. Then, ito na yung uh, panibago radius dun sa circular curve. Tawagin natin RC. Okay? So, ngayon, meron tayong given na LC, which is yung 75 meters. And So, ang letter A natin, ang pinapahanap dyan is, ano, yung radius ng circular curve, yung RC. Okay? So, saan ba tayo makakuha nandun sa mga equations natin? Okay? Saan? Dun sa TS. Kasi yung TS natin, ang equation nyan is what? Uh, LC over 2 plus RC plus XC over 4 multiplied by tangent of I over 2. Ay, meron I, yung 45 degrees. Wala tayong RC. Tama ba? Meron tayong LC. Yung XC natin, ano bang equation ng XC natin? That is what? Um, L squared over 6 RC. Okay, so, once na sinabitutut natin yung LXC dito, ang unknown na lang is what? As this is, ano pala, LC. Okay, ang unknown na lang is RC dito. Kung susunan natin makakuha yung TS, remember the TS is the tangent of the original curve. Tama ba? So, makukuha natin yung TS dyan or tangent. That is what? Equals to R tangent of I over 2. So, kagaya lang ng pagkuha ng ano, ng tangent dun sa simple curve. So, ito yung T na to is also equals to TS. Okay? And ang R natin is yung 285 meters. Okay? So, makukuha natin yung TS. At ang TS natin is 118.0 5.1 meters. Okay? Then, yung XC naman. XC is equals to LC. Ang LC natin is 75 squared over 6 RC. So, ang XC natin is equals to 937.5 over RC. So, substitute natin dito. Ang TS natin is 108.051 is equals to LC. Ang LC natin is 75 over 2. Plus, ang RC natin is unknown plus XC. Okay? XC natin is 937.5 over may 4 dun. So, 4 RC. Tangent of okay, 45 over 2. Then, ito ay minus natin dito. I-transpose natin. Okay? So, ang lalabas dun is 80.5 Okay, is 551 sequence to RC plus, okay, 
0.5 divided by 4 is 2, 3, 4, point 375 over RC multiplied by tangent of 45 over 2. Then, divide natin yung buong equation ng tangent. Okay, multiplied ay tangent of 45 over 2. So, itong ating 80.551, ang mag, uh, magiresulta na ito is 194. 194.467. Ang matitira na lang dito is RC plus 234.375 over R C. And ito namang buong equation na to, i-multiply natin ng R C para walang denominator na R C. Okay? So, mangyari dito, ito, R C times R C, so R C squared. Then ito, plus, okay, so cancel to, tama ba? Ito muna. So, magiging ano siya, positive. Then, transpose natin sa kabila, magiging ano, negative. So, negative 194.5 467 RC. Then, yan, plus 234.375 is equals to 0. So, makakuha tayo ng dalawang RC. Okay? And yung RC na matatama dyan is yung 193.254. 193.254 meters. Okay? So, ito na yung new radius ng ating circular curve. Okay? So, letter B. Ang pinapahap naman sa letter B is okay, determine the okay, distance that curve that the curve will be nearer the vertex. Ito yung vertex natin eh. Ito naman yung curve natin. So, pinapahanap dyan is yung external distance. So, meron tayong ano, di ba equation ng external distance. So, that is uh, RC plus XC over 4 over cosine of I over 2 minus RC. So, makakuha natin yung XC. Tama ba? Meron natin XC dito. Meron natin RC eh. 193.254. So, makakuha natin ng XC. Ang XC natin is 4.851. 4.851 meters. So, substitute natin dito. So, ES is equals to RC na 193.254 plus XC na 4.851 over 4 over cosine of 45 over 2 minus RC na 193.254 kaya makakuha natin external distance ng ating new curve and the external distance 17.351 sorry 17.235 meters yan Next, letter C. Ang letter C natin is central angle of the circular curve. IC. Okay? So, remember yung 2SC natin is equals to what? I minus IC. Kaya makakuha natin yung S, uh, IC is equals to what? I minus 2SC. As long as makakuha natin yung ano? SC. Ang SC natin is equals to okay? LC over 2RC Okay, then i-convert natin into degrees. 180 over pi. Ang LC natin is 75. Ang RC natin is 193.254. So, ang SC natin is equals to so okay, 11.118 degrees. Therefore, makuha natin yung IC natin. Ang I natin is 45. Ang SC natin is 11.118 multiplied by 2. Ang IC natin is 22.764 degrees. Okay? Next, letter D. Okay, the deflection angle at the end point of the spiral dito. So, yun yung I. Tama ba? Is equals to what? One third of SC. So, this is 11.118 divided by 3. So, makuha natin deflection angle at SC. That is 3.706 degrees. Ayan. So, letter E. Um, determine the offset from the tangent. Okay? So, offset from the tangent at the end point. End of the point of the spiral. Kapag sinati end of the point of the spiral, ito yun. Okay? Ayan. Kasi dito tayo mag-start ng spiral. Tama ba? 
So, ito yung endpoint niya. Okay? So, ang hinaharap na offset is yung ano? Xc. Okay? So, ang Xc natin is Lc squared over 6rc. Okay? So, ito yun. 937.5 over rc. So, nakuha na natin yung Xc natin which is equals to 4.851 meters. Okay? Okay. Last, letter F. Determine the distance along the tangent at the midpoint of the spiral. Okay. That is, ano, Y. Okay. Saan ba siya? At the midpoint of the spiral. So, sa gitna ng spiral. Di ba yung Y natin is, ano, uh, distance from the tangent at any point of, of the spiral. So, ngayon, yung point na yun is sa midpoint. So, kalahate. Tama ba? So, ngayon, ang equation natin doon is yung Y. Is equals to L minus L raised to 5 over okay, 40 RC squared multiplied by LC squared na kung saan yung ating L is equals to what? Midpoint of the spiral. So, 1 half of 75 meters. So, this is 37.5 meters. So, ang Y natin is equals to what? Ang L natin is 37.5 minus 37.5 raised to 5 over 40 multiplied by RC na 193.254 multiplied by LC na 75. So, squared. Yan. So, ang, uh, ang distance natin from the tangent at, at the midpoint of the spiral is equal to 37.491 meters. Okay? Yan. So, kung ipapakita natin sa curve dyan, ito yan. So, dito siya sa gitna. Okay? Then, ito yung ating y. Okay? Then, ito naman yung ating ano. Ito yung ating external distance. Okay? Yung pagbang pinahanap natin. Ito. Uh, deflection eh. At the end of. So, ito yan. Uh, huh? Ito. Yan. So, ito yung i. Then, IC natin. Ito. Siya. Ayan. Ito yung IC natin. Ano pa ba? Ito yung RC. ES, IC, I, Y, and XC. So, dito yun. Yung XC sa, sa starting ng... Uh, sorry, sa end ng spiral. So, this is XC. Okay? So, this is our example number one.